One of the greatest things we often discuss is demonstrating the love of Christ. It's important not only to talk about it, but also to be genuinely moved by it. Compassion should drive our actions, just like when Jesus showed love through acts of compassion. In the New Testament, Jesus being moved by compassion is mentioned a few times. Here are a few instances. 1. Matthew 14.14 14. When Jesus landed and saw a large crowd, He had compassion on them and healed their sick. 2. Mark 1.41 Moved with compassion, Jesus reached out His hand and touched the man. I am willing, He said. Be clean. 3. Mark 6.34 When Jesus landed and saw a large crowd, He had compassion on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. So He began teaching them many things. These are just a few examples. And there may be other instances where Jesus is described as being moved by compassion throughout the New Testament. I understand the significance of Jesus being moved by compassion in the Bible. It serves as a powerful example for us to reflect upon in our own lives. When we consider the actions we take and the way we interact with others, it's important to ask ourselves if we are motivated by love and compassion or driven by selfish intentions. By examining our own hearts and motivations, we can strive to cultivate a perspective that sees people through the lens of love. This means treating others with kindness, empathy, and understanding. Just as Jesus showed compassion to those he encountered, we too can make a conscious effort to prioritize love in our actions and interactions. Remember, it's a continual journey and growth process. By consciously choosing to act out of compassion and love, we can enrich our relationships, make a positive impact, and ultimately reflect the teachings and example of Jesus in our own lives. It's the Corinthians 13, 2, 3. 2. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains but do not have love, I am nothing. 3. If I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Paul emphasizes that even if someone possesses remarkable spiritual gifts such as prophecy, knowledge, or faith, those abilities are meaningless if they lack love. The same is true if someone were to give away all their possessions or endure great hardships without love. Love is essential because it is the foundation for all our actions and reflects our relationship with God and others. When we think about ministry or being a Christian, love should be at the center of everything we do. It should guide our interactions with others, motivate our service, and shape our perspective on the world. Jesus summed up the two greatest commandments as loving God with all our heart, soul, and mind, and loving our neighbors as ourselves, Matthew 22, 37, 39. In ministry, love is crucial because it reaches out to those who are hurting, offers hope to the lost, and demonstrates the compassion of Christ. Without love, our words and actions may lack authenticity and fail to bring about true transformation and healing. So, the purpose of being in ministry or being a Christian is not only to possess spiritual gifts or engage in acts of service, but to do so in love. Love places others before ourselves, seeks their well-being, and reflects the character of God. As followers of Jesus, our aim should always be to love as He loved us. John 13, 34, 35, A new command I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. 35. By this everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. Thank you for watching. Let's us pray together. Heavenly Father, we come before you with hearts filled with gratitude. We praise you for being our God, our loving Father, who demonstrated your immeasurable love for us on the cross. We confess that we have often fallen short, allowing selfishness to cloud our hearts. Forgive us for neglecting to love others as you command, for failing to love our neighbors as ourselves. We pray that your love would move us with compassion, filling us with patience and understanding. Grant us the strength to show this love through acts of kindness, not just through material possessions, but through our time, our words, and our deeds. Help us to see the needs of those around us and to be willing to offer help wherever it is needed. May we touch the lives of others with your love, one person at a time. We ask this in Jesus' name, amen.